In third unit, we see the RLC circuits. AC circuits, the circuit made up of connected in series and parallel combination R and L and C are the components. Any electrical circuit or electronic circuit, communication networks made up of network elements RLC. In third chapter, AC circuits, we see in the resistance, the inductor, capacitor are connected in series or parallel or combination and so many formulas we derive. The impedance of series RL circuit, you can see R, L and C are connected in series. What is the impedance Z, Z you see? What is the formula for Z impedance? Z equal to R plus JXL minus XC. JXL minus XC, you see this. What is XL? Inductive reactance and XC is capacitive reactance. These are the circuit, every circuit consists of these elements R, L, C. R, L, C are the three components we are using in any electronic circuit or electrical circuit or transmission line. Communication network made up of so many elements R, L, C. The combination of R, L, C, you give impedance. The impedance is the property of a circuit which opposes the current in AC. The impedance is similar to resistance. The impedance of inductor and capacitor depends on frequency. You know that XL, XL equal to 2 pi FL. We see in the resonance. Resonance is the frequency at which the resonance occurs. That is called resonance frequency. In this, XL equal to XC, if it is equal, then impedance of the circuit is Z equal to R. You know that XL equal to XC means XL and minus XC, the difference becomes zero. Then you will get impedance Z equal to R. That is called thus the phenomena in which the complex circuit behaves like a pure resistance is called resonance. The resonance is defined as the phenomena in which the complex circuit behaves like a pure resistive. When it behaves pure resistive because RLC circuit impedance is R plus JXL minus XC. XL equal to 2 pi FL. XL equal to 2 pi FL. You know that F is the frequency. Frequency of AC. When the frequency if you increase for an AC circuit at some, at some condition the XL becomes XC. The XL equal to XC. Equal ga unto the number. The XL XC equal in a Z Z equal to R matram outundi. This condition is known as resonance condition. At resonance, the impedance of inductance equal to impedance of capacitance. The reactance equal to capacitance. The reactance of inductor, reactance of capacitor. We can say it is XL is inductive reactance and capacitive reactance. Both are equal to zero. Then the difference becomes zero. At that condition, resonance occur because the phase of the current in the circuit in phase with applied voltage. When Z equal to R, Z equal to R in a Pudemothadi, voltage and current are in phase because power factor is 1 cos phi. Voltage and current, suppose if it is a V, it is I, then voltage and current are in phase at resonance. Enduku Z equal to R in Gavati under if the inductance is there, the Voltage, if you consider voltage, the current layer lag for inductor. The current lags for inductor leads for capacitor. It is an inductor current. If the capacitor is a pure capacitor, then it leads the voltage IC. It is IC. Capacitor current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. That means the phase of the current in the circuit in phase with applied voltage. The current is in phase with applied voltage at resonance. We can define the resonance due to change in frequency at some condition XL equal to XC. That is reactance capacitor and inductive reactance both equal because the change in frequency. Because XC also 1 by 2 pi FC when frequency changes this becomes zero. The, the condition at which the phenomena in which the complex circuit behaves like a pure Resist to circuit that condition is known as resonance. The resonance is defined as in any electronic circuit, the circuit at which behaves like a pure resistance is called resonance. Resonance condition 
maximum current will flow in the circuit because both are zero reactants ixc and ixl drop is zero then the circuit behaves like only resistance the condition at which z equal to r is called as resonance the frequency at which resonance takes place is called resonance frequency it is uh, fr what is fr 1 by 2 pi lc we will derive that one the resonant frequency these are the conditions impedance of inductance equal to impedance of capacitance equal to the impedance of impedance capacitance that is reactance impedance uh, capacitance means it is a reactance maximum current will flow because xl equal to xc that is both will be cancel each other in a circuit current only flowing through resistor that is the voltage across the capacitor or inductor is ixc or ixl where i is the current at resonance and xc or xl is the impedance of the circuit the total power dissipated in the resistor and absorbed average power is maximum maximum power will be absorbed by the resistor only at resonance at resonance there are two types of resonance are possible one is series resonance and parallel resonance now you can understand what is resonance the phenomena at which the complex circuit behaves like a pure resistance pure resistive is known as resonance the phenomena in which the complex circuit behaves like pure resistance z equal to r then impedance of the circuit is equal to resistance only because l and c both compensate each other xl equal to xc then the phenomena in which the complex circuit behaves like xl equal to xc then z equal to r then that is called as resonance the impedance of the inductance equal to impedance of capacitance in resonance condition and a resonance condition what are the conditions the phase of the current in the circuit is in phase with applied voltage because z equal to r only the voltage vector and current vector both will be in phase that we seen already because z equal to r the current vector or current phase are both phi equal to 0 what is the angle between voltage and current both are in phase or parallel phi equal to 0 under resonance condition what is the power factor cos phi equal to 1 because cos 0 is 1 the conditions what are the conditions the impedance the inductive reactance equal to inductive capacitance that is xl equal to xc is the one of the condition for resonance because both are depends on frequency if you vary the frequencies at some condition xl equal to xc will appear because xl equal to pi fl xc equal to 1 by 2 pi fc maximum current will flow in the circuit because it behaves like a pure circuit z equal to r you will get according to impedance the voltage across the capacitor or inductor where i is the current at resonance the total power dissipated in the resistor and absorbed maximum power will be absorbed there are two types of resonance appear one is series resonance and parallel resonance series resonance based on the types of element connected r l c both are connected in series it is called a series resonance consider a series circuit consider a series circuit series or l circuit that's why third chapter is important only free impedance impedance how to calculate for two many circuits are connected parallel that is third unit is important you have to read third unit also in series resonance all elements are rlc circuit elements are connected in series as shown in figure the impedance of this circuit is you know that z equal to r plus jxl minus xc for series resonance circuit the, the resonance at the imaginary part is zero at resonance xl equal to xc therefore we have to make by adjusting the frequency xl equal to xc we have to adjust the frequency to get xl equal to xc therefore this imagined term becomes zero that is xl minus xc equal to zero then if you send xc to this side xl equal to xc that is resonance at resonance the imagined part is zero you know that xl is 2 pi l or omega l at resonance we are calculating frequency hence we taken omega r omega r omega r we are taken because xl equal to 2 pi fl or omega l xl equal to 2 pi fl we can write 2 pi f as omega xl equal to omega l but at resonance we are considering omega r omega r omega is 2 pi f omega equal to 2 pi f it is the natural frequency of oscillations 2 pi f 
if you substitute here, x in place of xl, you can substitute 2 pi fl or omega l minus x is 1 by 2 pi fc, 1 by omega rc that equal to 0. If you send this term to this side, right hand side, omega rl equal to 1 by omega rc. If you send l to this side, 1 by omega rlc, omega r to this side, omega r square you will get. Omega r equal to 1 by square root of this one, square root of lc. Omega r equal to 1 by lc. But what is omega? 2 pi f. 2 pi fr. Because at resonance, at resonance we are considering 2 pi fr. This one 2 pi fr. fr equal to 1 by 2 pi lc 50 h. This is the h unit for resonance frequency also h. The frequency at which the resonance occur, that is at the frequency at which the inductive reactance equal to capacitive reactance that is called resonant frequency. The frequency at which inductive reactance equal to capacitive reactance, the frequency at which inductive reactance equal to capacitive reactance, we can say it is F for re resonant frequency 1 by 2 pi LC. In any circuit, if the three elements are connected in series, what is the resonance frequency? If you want, you can use this formula. You can use FR equal to 1 by 2 pi LC. This is the important formula. Two mass question may become FR equal to 1 by 2 pi LC. It is about series resonance. And in depth of that series resonance, we can see later. This is the plot of curve under series resonance. Under series resonance, the plot of curve current versus frequency. From that we can get bandwidth also. All this we will see next.